Why did my real daddy have to die? $600. Just sign the pink. We're all done. Put a lot of work into this, baby. It really shows. You do it yourself? Actually, my brothers did it. It was kind of a gift. Uh, hey, look, Sergeant Capitoza, I'll find a good home for her. Promise. Hey, Sam. Do me a favor, huh? Give me a ride to the airport. Fortunata's guest, mid 40s, male, Caucasian. Seen with Fortunata last weekend as well. You're a little far from home, aren't you? <laughs> I should say the same about you. I have business interests here. You don't. Now, enough is enough, kid. Back off. You're starting to crowd me. Get used to it. I don't have to get used to it. You're in Nevada. Your badge means nothing. This isn't about my badge. It's about my father. That's ancient history. You're letting your emotions get in the way of your judgment. That's bad in any business. <laughs> I should be writing this down. All right. I'm gonna say this once, so listen up. I didn't kill your father. I know you killed him. I didn't. That's the God's honest truth, kid. Now let this be fair warning. I want you out of my life. I'd hate to see you wind up next to your old man, but the rate you're going, you're gonna have an accident or a heart attack and die. You know what I mean? Might as well take your best shot, Fortunata because I'm gonna take you down any way I can. And you're gonna be real sorry, kid.
You boys shouldn't fight. You got to be different like these four cops. They were known as the Hat Squad. And they wore hats and dusters as a symbol of that difference. And no criminal would mess with them. As orphans, you boys know what it is to be victims. And they protected people like you. So maybe someday you could be like them. There you are. We've been calling you all weekend. Where you been? You were supposed to come with us on the basketball game on Saturday night. What happened? I told you guys I was going to the shore. You didn't say anything about the shore. What, what's, what's, what's that? This? Yeah. Some drunk was hassling a woman. I told him to back off, and he cracked into the beer bottle. It's no big deal. At the shore? Yeah. Buddy. Yeah. Where's the beast? It's in the shop. <laughs> Am I missing something here? I mean, the two of you look like you want to take this down to the interrogation room, maybe throw a hot light in my eyes. What's up? We just want to know what the hell's going on. There's nothing going on. Oh, give me a break, buddy. Uh, I always could tell when you were lying. You couldn't look me in the eye. You got something you want to say, Maddie? Just say it. I'm saying we got a call about the beast yesterday. You signed the pink slip in the wrong place, man. I've got to go to intelligence. The two of you want to make up a list of questions, I'll answer them all in writing when I get back. Buddy, any luck with the surveillance photos? No sweat. Subject number one, Frankie Fortunata of Atlantic City, New Jersey, Las Vegas, Nevada, and all points corrupt. I know that. Who's this other guy? You didn't recognize him? Uh-uh. That's our city councilman, Ross McMillan. The guy who's running for mayor? Used to be on Channel 5. I never thought I'd see a newscaster run for mayor. Listen, this is just between you and me, okay? You come in here, you ask me a favor, you bribe me with basketball tickets, I take the secret to the grave. Isn't that the deal? That a boy. All right. I gotta find out what Buddy's got stashed in here. Frankie Fortunato. Frankie Fortunato. <laughs> So this is your weekend hobby? Investigating Frankie Fortunata. It's no hobby. <sighs> Ross McMillan, please. Don't you think we should talk about this? Is that lunch? No, thanks. I'll call back. Fortunata killed my father. We've talked about it for years. I'm going to do something about it instead. Why has this thing become so important to you now? I'm tired of waking up in the middle of the night, seeing this guy's face, knowing he's out there and nobody's doing anything about it. I need to borrow your car. Where are you going? I'm going to go run over Fortunata. I need to borrow your car because it's nice and big. Oh. Thanks. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I 
didn't think you were gonna go. I'm sorry. I got distracted. Man, look at your front end. I tell you, this car is jinxed. This is like the third time I have wrecked it. You seem to be taking it pretty well. I'll never cry over anything that can't cry over you. That's what my mom used to always say. That's very good. Buddy Capitoso. Nikki Sinclair. Look, I'm kind of in a hurry. I gotta meet somebody for lunch. Here's my card and my license. You're a cop? Show me your badge. So you're going to write yourself a ticket? <laughs> yeah, probably should. Listen, I really got to go. Uh, why don't you come down to the precinct after lunch? It's the 77th, just around the corner. We'll take care of this, OK? OK. That sounds fair. I got to go. OK, go. Go. Catch some bad guys. Drive safe. I'm looking for Sergeant Capitosa. I'm sorry, Mr. Capitosa's not here right now. You can come. Come on in. Perhaps I could be of some assistance. My name is Sergeant Rafael Martinez of the Hat Squad. Nikki Sinclair. Nikki. It's a nice name. I can't watch this. Rafi, <clears throat> if you need me, I'll be in records, huh? I won't be needing that. So. May I inquire as to how you and Sergeant Capitosa know one another? I hit his car. You what? I hit his car. You hit my car? Your car. A white Jeep Cherokee? It's just a fender bender. It... Oh, my God. Uh, Sergeant Capitosa thought that I could meet him here and we could work out a settlement. You know, you're on to something. I'll tell you what we can do. Why don't we take your car over for an estimate? Then maybe we can go have some dinner. And then maybe we can uh, discuss some numbers, like maybe your phone number. Hey, you made it. Hey, I got your license. Oh, man. I completely forgot. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, Nikki and I, we're just going to go have some dinner and discuss a settlement. No, 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 no. Nikki and I are going to go have some dinner and discuss an estimate. It's my car. It was my accident. It's my insurance claim. It was my fault. You guys partners? Brothers. Brothers. Oh. Miss St. Clair? I didn't want to go out with her anyway. Sorry. 
So that's my story. What about you? No boyfriend back in New York? He wasn't a boyfriend. He was a nightmare. Is that why you left? <sighs> New York is such a pit, and I got passed over twice at the agency for guys with less than a track record than me, and I don't know, one morning I just woke up and said, what am I doing in Manhattan with Mr. Goodbar? And so I typed up a new resume, quit the ad agency, and moved here. And what about you? No girlfriend? Yeah. No. Now, why is that? You seem like a nice enough guy. You got a good job. You got a nice family. Gun. <laughs> I don't know. It seems like I never have time to look. That's a good excuse. You know, I use that one a lot. Work obsessive. Yeah, yeah, that's an excuse. You're right. It's just, you know, I've been waiting for the right girl to come along and hit me with her car. <laughs> I'm glad I got your attention. I'm glad you did, too. We should do this again sometime. What about tomorrow night? Get down! You want to explain that report? Someone took a shot. I mean, a civilian last night around town on 23rd. Yeah, I know the facts. Now tell me what the hell is going on. I believe the shooter works for Frankie Fortunata. We've had this discussion before, buddy. You can't go off on your own trying to bring down an entire mob family because of a personal vendetta. Personal vendetta? He killed my father. It was 28 years ago. You're not going to convict him of that crime now. I'm going to convict him of something. Now. Buddy, please. Stay away from this guy. He's as cold as they come. The people that work for him are cold. Like Ross McMillan? Ross McMillan? Everybody loves this guy for crying out loud. He's running for mayor against Bill Walker. He's also been Frankie Fortunata's guest in Las Vegas the last three weekends in a row. How do you know this? I've been following Fortunata. To Nevada, buddy. Dad, I've got to do this. I hope you understand. Where you going? Quit following me. 
You're welcome. I don't need your help. Dad thinks different. You call us in to stay on your butt. You're out of line here. Hey, hey, buddy. You're out of line. Buddy. You all right, man? Election, I guarantee it. Don't worry about Bill Walker. You're gonna win the election, I guarantee it. What are you listening to? Got me? What are you doing here? You don't remember. We made plans for tonight, just before they started shooting at us. Oh, man, you're right. I'm sorry. I mean, with all that's been happening around here, I totally forgot. Come on, let's get some pasta. What happened to you? Well, I got into a fight with one of my brothers. <laughs> this is some family. Family, yeah. Oh, damn. I'm supposed to have dinner with my folks tonight. Why don't you come along? On our second date, you want me to meet your parents? Forget it. They'll think we're serious. Maybe we are serious. Come on, it'll be great. You have no idea how often I'd have to listen to my mom tell me, when are you going to bring a nice girl home for dinner? Okay, we'll do it for mom. You can love it. Dinners at the house are always a hoot. The spaghetti's good. It's very good, yeah. It's excellent. Thank you. Nikki, let me explain something to you. We have a rule in our house. It um, goes way back, many years. Even if we're fighting or someone isn't talking to another, we all have dinner together because we are still a family. That's a good rule. My best friend, Andy Brumby, used to live over there next to the Mumfords. Yancey Creek runs behind their house. We used to go fishing for catfish. I'd bring them home. Mom would get so upset, she hated cleaning fish. My real parents lived in the city. I always wondered what growing up in that other neighborhood would have been like, whether I would have turned out any different. Do you wish things would have been different? I don't know. I can't say. I just wish I remembered my real family. I don't even have pictures of them. They died when I was three years old. I, I barely remember them at all anymore. You know, I don't find it very easy to open up to people. I carry a lot around inside. You. I feel I can tell things, too. Ready? Yeah, I'll stay behind the car. They probably just want to talk here. Hiya, kid. Back from Vegas so soon? I like those frequent flyer miles. I'm glad to see you got back safely. If you're so interested in my safety, why'd you take a shot at me the other day? Could you excuse us, miss? No problem.
That wasn't me. That was a couple of guys trying to do me a favor. If I were going to kill a cop, he'd just disappear. You know what I mean? Yeah. Let me ask you something. You hard of hearing? Oh, my hearing's just fine. Because I told you to stay out of my life, and you haven't done that. So I assume maybe you didn't hear me. Let me tell you something. I'm not going to go away until you're dead or behind bars. All right. You want a piece of me? I'm going to give you something to chew on, something to think about, maybe get off my back. Your father owned a pizza parlor on 23rd Street. You knew that, right? He died in there. You killed him. That's the story you were told as a kid, some kind of fairy tale. Go back and ask your father to tell your story again. See if it comes out the same way. I know the story, backwards and forwards. No, you don't. See, you've been after me all this while. But the man you want is Mike Raglan. What are you talking about? Do us all a favor. Ask Mike Raglan about Vince Capitosa. And listen to him very carefully. Then get out of my life. They tell me you're a pretty fine cop, kid. I hate to see somebody of your caliber disappear. I want those files. What files? Don't, all right? I've been to the file room. You're taking everything having to do with Frankie Fortunata killing my father. I don't know why you did it. I don't care. I just want those files. Sorry, but I'm not going to give them to you. What? I took those files for your own good. And you got to trust me that you're better off without them. Since when do you hide things from me? Since I decided it's the right thing to do. Come on, Dad. Damn it, buddy. Drop it. No. What the hell is going on? Buddy, there are things in life all of us need to know, and there are things we ought to know, and there are things we are better off never learning. So for the last time, you're asking for something you're going to be sorry you found, and I'm begging you, please, please leave it alone. I will never stop until I know the truth. Frankie Fortunato killed my father, and I want to know. Frankie Fortunata did not kill your father. Then who did? I did. How can you even come here? Because I care about you, son. Yeah, well, you got quite a way of showing. Hey, are you trying to tell me you've never taken a chance and tried to make things turn out the way they should have instead of the way they did? No, I'm telling you, I've never lied to you. How could it have happened? My father's death was it an accident. What? What's the truth? Your father left me no choice. Huh. Oh, that's great. Thanks for filling me in. Believe me, I... Believe you? My whole life's been held together by a lie. Believe you, the man who tucked me in bed every night, put a bullet in my father's head. I don't think I'll ever be able to believe anything you say again.
does it say? I thought you might have some. No. I mean, do we have to fear for our lives? It seems like every time we get together, somebody's threatening you or shooting at us. Let's risk it. You're gonna win the election, I guarantee it. But Walker's ten points ahead in the polls. Will you forget the polls? Just relax and start getting used to being called Mr. Mayor. Thought you might like some coffee. Mm, thank you. I need something to keep me awake today. So who are these guys you keep listening to? Bad guys. Like I had to ask. So, Sergeant Capitosa, today's Sunday. Do you have to go out and catch criminals, or can we just pretend like it's still last night? I got the late shift. You get a paper here? Outside. I was thinking maybe we could go to a matinee or something, come back here and... How you doing, man? Better. I'm still confused about a lot of things. But not about the fact that I was wrong going after you guys the other day. I'm real sorry. sometimes, you know. Did you see the paper? Sure did. Car accident sounds pretty bogus to me. Yeah, it's even better. We got Fortune on and McMillan talking about it a week before it ever happened. Really? Fortune had Walker killed so McMillan would get elected mayor. Do you have enough to make it stick? The DA said to bring it by in the morning. If it's all there, we file tomorrow. That's good work. That's, that's real good work. Yeah, but listen, uh, you want us to hold on to this tape until the DA comes around? No way, man. I'm not letting this tape out of my sight until Fortunata is behind the bars. <sighs> it's not exactly dinner time yet. Not that I'm complaining. Nikki, how you doing? Nice place you got here. You can really rent nice furniture these days. They tell me the terms are quite reasonable. Sergeant Capitosa contacted the DA this morning. He's not backing off. It's time for you to earn your money, little girl. Is everything in place? You hired the best, Frankie. When you hire the best, you don't ask that question. You just push the button. I just pushed the button, Nikki. I want that tape and kill him. No problem.
you, Pop. All right, we've been tailing Fortunato like you suggested. And? And he just paid a visit to Nikki Sinclair, the girl Buddy's been seeing. Is she all right? Well, that's the problem. We don't know what went on inside, but everybody came out smiling, if you know what I mean. We got a bad feeling about this one. And about her. Where is she? Well, we decided to move on her, but she had already gone. She must have taken the back stairs. And where's your brother? pick you up later. I know, I was just in the neighborhood, though, and I, uh, kind of went to see you. Well, about tonight, I was thinking maybe Chinese, some bowels, some egg rolls, and... Then again, I had a big lunch. I thought about you all day. You did? Mm hmm I was thinking about where you were, and what you were wearing, and what you were doing, what I wish you were doing. Had a lot on your mind. You know what I spend most of my time thinking about? Tell me. What I wanted to be doing to you. Tell me. Yeah. I'd rather show you. <laughs> so was your whole family spying on us from upstairs? <laughs> Matt Raffi and Dad are on duty. Mom and Darnell are in New York. So what you're telling me is... We got the house to ourselves. Uh, it's so nice when things work out just the way I want them to. It's his day off. Nobody knows where he is. He can't get through the house right now. Operator says there's some kind of problem on the line. Problem? Like it's been disconnected. Let's go. Nikki?
on the back. father was a criminal. That's why you took the file? So I wouldn't find this out? I didn't think it was something you needed to know. I do now. Your father... You owned a restaurant, just like I always told you, but it was a front. He was a soldier in the mob, working his way up any way he could. Running numbers, loan sharking, you name it. The winter of 1964, your mother died in that car accident. I remember. It seemed to harden your dad. He became more violent, more vicious. I was part of the team that finally moved in to take him down. It was dark. He got the drop on me. I was lucky. His shot missed, mine didn't. After he was buried, I swore I'd take care of you. So that's why you and Mom took me in. Because you felt guilty. We took you in because you were a good kid. And because we couldn't have children of our own. We've had a good life together, so good, I guess I just, I just never wanted to risk things. That's why I pulled a file when you became a cop. I didn't want you to hate me or hate yourself. I always wondered what my life would have been like if my real parents had lived. Now I know. I would have turned out just like him. Why don't you keep this? Sure. I know all I need to know. It is your past. That file's not my past. It's my nightmare. This is my home. This is my family. 